Hi, this is John Sawash, and in this video, you're going to learn how to prioritize your incoming email messages. I use three lesser known features of Gmail to accomplish this, and it allows me to prioritize my daily task list based on importance and uh, significance rather than just on who sent me an email most recently. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this using my own uh, inbox, so let me jump over there and we'll get started. Right now, I have six emails in my inbox, which is uh, probably a few uh, less than normal. I try to keep my inbox at 30 emails or less. That doesn't mean I don't receive a lot of email or um, that I spend a lot of time in my inbox. It just means that I have a system to prioritize them that works for me. So let's work through these six emails, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to this first one. It's from Robin. Uh, she's uh, signing up for my online course, but she has some issues. I need to respond to this uh, pretty quickly, but I'm not going to do it right now because I'm creating this video for you. So I'm going to use a new feature of Gmail that is called snooze. It's the little clock right at the top of your screen. And this allows me to snooze an email for a specific time. So I'm going to have this email re-delivered. Um, right now it's about noon, so I'm going to reply to this at about 2 p.m. And so that will tell Google to re-deliver this message to me at that time when I have time to deal with it. So if an email needs to be addressed at during the day you're currently in um, or in an hour or during your planning period, you can snooze those incoming messages until that time. Let's go to this next email. Uh, so this is another one um, about uh, technology training and uh, doing some uh, some admin work. I'm going to snooze this one as well, uh, same time. So I'm going to batch these emails at the same time, 2 p.m. Uh, today. And we'll save that. And it'll re-deliver. All right. The next email in my inbox is from my um, accountant, Catherine, and uh, my invoicing system is not working. I use Autocrat and Google Forms for this. I need to go in and fix it. Now, this is going to require more than just a reply. I'm going to have to go in and actually do some work. I don't have time today, so I'm going to add this email to my to-do list. I'm going to click on the three dots, the snowman at the top of my screen, and I'm going to select the option that says add to task. This is going to open up the Google task tool, and it's going to create a to do item from this email. So you can see it automatically adds the title of the email. I'm going to click the pencil to edit. I'm going to say fix invoicing uh, system. I'm going to add a due date tomorrow um, by noon, 12 p.m. And that, because I've added a date and time, it's going to um, add that to my uh, calendar. So I'll be able to see it either in Gmail or in Google Calendar, wherever I happen uh, to be. Because I've added this email to my task list, I can now archive the message and I'll refer to it through the email. Let's keep going. Um, next up, this is a, just a reply to an email that I sent earlier. Nothing that I need to do here, so I'm just going to click the archive button to remove this message from my inbox. A lot of the emails I receive are more informational, don't require response, and so I don't have to do a whole lot to it. Um, two more. This one is a, a reply as well. I'm going to batch this. I'm going to snooze it just like the others uh, to 2 p.m. today when I'll uh, respond to all of these. So that one is snooze. And then the last one here is a meeting request. Now this one, again, is going to require me to kind of look at my schedule and, and formulate my response. I'm going to go ahead and add this to a task as well. You know, check, retitle this, check calendar for 528 presentation. I'll give this a due date uh, tomorrow by 11 a.m. Try to get back within one day of the email. And because it's now on my task list, I'll go ahead and archive, and I'm at inbox zero. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my inbox as kind of a collecting place for my messages and then determining if I can wait till later, add them to my to-do list, or send a quick reply. Using those three features, archive, snooze, and task, will help you manage your email more efficiently.